guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. So today I am going to be sharing with you my um, dupe video for the Morphe 35 O palette. So as you probably are all aware, if you are makeup or YouTube addicts like I am, um, this palette is very well sought after. Um, a lot of the American YouTubers like, like Manny MUA, um, Jeffree Star, Jaclyn Hill etc are affiliates for Morphe and um, the Morphe 35 O palette basically gets used all the time because it is so amazing. So up until recently, they're they were really hard to get hold of in the UK, um, maybe in America as well, I'm not entirely sure, but in the UK they were very, very difficult to get hold of. Um, Cult Beauty recently started stocking them, but they were sold out for a little while, and obviously they'd come back in and they'd sell out so quickly just because they were so, so pro um, popular. They're around about £22, I'm, I'm sure, around about £22. They're no more than £30 anyway. So the chances of you being able to pick up this palette now are quite high because you can buy them online. However, the thing that I really like to do when I get an eyeshadow palette or any new makeup is swatch shades. That's something that you can't do with the Morphe 35 O palette. You can't swatch them, you can't have a look in a shop for them, you can't try them on your skin etc to see if they work with your skin colour. So I thought that today I would bring you a drugstore alternative to the Morphe 35 O palette just in case you guys wanted to like I say, swatch them in store or check some of the colours out in person instead of on the internet or perhaps you're a bit younger and you just don't have an, like a bank account that you can sign up to a website with to use it, you know, like if you've just got cash and you want to go into a shop then this video might be for you. Like I say, Morphe 35 O palette, it has 35 shades, um, they are all very very similar, as you can see there's lots and lots of brown tones like in this section and then you've got your really popular Morphe 35 O shades which are the orange shades here and like the bronzy colours. The dupe that I have found is the Makeup Obsession. I'm not going to hold this up too longer because you can see my lights in my camera which is probably very distracting. Um, but it's the Makeup Obsession palette from Tam Beauty. So Tam Beauty are the creators of Makeup Revolution. Um, originally Makeup Obsession was purely sold in Boots but now you can get it from Tam Beauty online and Boots online as well. So Tam Beauty just ship internationally. So if you are international and you fancy grabbing the, these palettes and these shades then you can definitely get the, your hands on them. So these are custom palettes. Here there are the shades on the back. So what you do is you just pop that out and that leaves you with like a little circle here and you can just pop it back in. So they're completely customizable. The shades in here of course are not the same as in here. These are 35, this palette only holds 12. But as you can see the Makeup Obsession ones are so much bigger than the um, Morphe ones. And these are £2 each, so individually £2 for each little eyeshadow pan. I know that when you work that out, you know, if you had 35 colours at £2 each, that would be 70 quid, and that's a lot more money than what you can buy the Morphe 35 O palette for. But they are so much bigger, so they're going to last you longer. And like I was saying earlier, a lot of these shades are similar in the kind of brown and tonal family. And the reason that I got this palette was purely for these orange shades. So if you're like me and there's a key colours that you maybe see like a beauty guru or a makeup account use, like the oranges or like the really nice kind of bronzy shades, then you can easily go and just pick up one individual shade or a couple and fill your palette for cheaper than what you would get the Morphe palette for. So hopefully that kind of gives you an explanation and a reason as to why I am comparing the two today. And now what I'm going to do is swatch some of the shades side by side and show you the differences and the pigmentation and texture and how similar they are. Also in this video I am going to be doing a little tutorial on this eye makeup. I have one side of my face Morphe and the other side Makeup Obsession. So that's going to come later on in the video but definitely go ahead and leave a comment to let me know what side you think is what. These are them closed. Yeah, I'd be interested to see if you can guess what's what. The first swatch I want to share with you is this shade here. This is in the fifth row from the top and the sixth column. And I am comparing it to this shade here, which is the colour Rare. So Makeup Obsession and Morphe. As you can see, they are really, really similar and the pigmentation is super similar as well. The next shade is this one here, it's in the 4th row down and the 6th column along. 
and I am duping it with this colour here which is called Starstruck. So this one is the Morphe and this one is Makeup Obsession. So again they are pretty similar colours. This one looks a little bit more pigmented um, but obviously both of the eyeshadows are very very buildable but they are very very similar colours. The next colour is this gorgeous bronzy shade. This is in the fifth row down and the seventh column along. And the corresponding shade is this one here. It is called Cosmo from Makeup Obsession. So this one is Morphe. As you can see it is so pigmented this one. And this one is Makeup Obsession. Again, really really similar. The pigmentation is pretty on point with both of these. Um, Morphe a little bit, maybe a little bit more foiled effect but honestly I don't think you can really tell the difference if you had one or the other. Next up is this shade here, it's in the first row and the third column along, it's a gorgeous champagne shade and I am duping it against this colour here which is called Champagne. This is the Morphe shade and this is Makeup Obsession. Next up is this beautiful chocolate brown shade. This is in the fifth row down and the third column along. And I am duping it against this colour here which is in the shade Bourbon. This is Makeup Obsession. Oh sorry, this is Morphe, that's what I meant. Morphe and Makeup Obsession. Again, both really, really, really similar shades. They're both matte shades and they're beautiful kind of chocolatey browns. This is a beautiful, beautiful gold shade. It's so, so pretty. This one is the first row and the fourth column. I am duping this against the shade Rich, which is this one here. This one is Morphe. And this one is Makeup Obsession. This, you can see here, this one kind of looks a little bit more orangey gold and this one a little bit more yellow gold. But really, again, similarities are very, very the same. <laughs> Next up one of the iconic orange shades. This one is in the third row from the top and the seventh column along. The dupe from Makeup Obsession is this gorgeous colour here. This is in the shade Burnt. This is the Morphe shade and this is Makeup Obsession shade. Morphe is a little bit more um, hard and powdery and this one is a bit more smooth and buttery very very similar colours. They're like a really nice burnt orange with a red undertone. Another iconic colour is this lovely orange here. It's a little bit less um, kind of bright than this one. So this is the second row from the top and the seventh column along in the Morphe palette. And this is the one I'm testing in the Makeup Obsession palette. It's called Cinnamon. This is the Morphe colour and this is Makeup Obsession. These ones are a little bit different, but again, very similar colours, kind of light burnt orange. And the last shade I have is this one right here. In the Morphe, this is the fourth row down and the fifth column along. This is the dupe in the Makeup Obsession palette, which is called Precious Metal. This is the Morphe, Morphe shade. How can I not see that? And this is Makeup Obsession. Very, very similar once again. So now that I have showed you the shades side by side swatches, I am going to show you a little eye tutorial on how they um, blend, how pigmented they are, and so you can make up your mind whether you would like to go out and purchase one of the palettes. So before I do so, have you guessed which side is which? If you haven't, do it now because I am about to tell you. I'll just wait for you. <laughs> if you want to guess, you don't have to, but if you want to, now's the time. Okay, good. Done it? Perfect. So, this side is the Morphe side and this side is the Makeup Obsession. So, did you guess correctly? If you did, let me know down below and let's get into the little tutorial. So, the first shade I am taking is this gorgeous orange shade um, from the Morphe palette and the corresponding one is the cinnamon shade from the Makeup Obsession palette. As you can see, the Morphe is really, really pigmented. It blends really nicely into the um, skin. 
the cinnamon shade, that's actually a lot easier to blend in. It's not as pigmented, which might be the reason why, but it is a lot easier to blend into the eye. The next shade I'm taking is this gorgeous, really reddish, burnt orange shade from the Morphe palette. And the corresponding shade from the Makeup Session is this one in the colour Burnt. Um, I feel on the, this one that the pigmentation is exactly the same on both of the colours. They are su both super, super pigmented and a very, very similar colour. Um, but again, the Morphe one is just not as blendable as the Makeup Obsession one. Now on to the lid colour, I am using this gorgeous um, gold shade, it is very very pretty, very pigmented and from Makeup Obsession I'm using the shade Rich. So as you can see here, the Morphe one is pulling more orange gold and the Makeup Obsession is pull pulling more yellow gold. Now I don't think you would have been able to tell that had you not been really really up close to my eyes, but I don't think they are complete dupes of each other. Now for the outer V of the eye and kind of the outer half of the mobile eyelid, I'm using this nice chocolatey brown shade and the corresponding colour is Bourbon Brown from Makeup Obsession. I think again these are very very similar colours, perhaps the Morphe one's a little bit more pigmented than the Makeup Obsession one but both of the eyeshadow palettes are very very um, easy to build up the shade and the pigmentation so yeah I think these are really similar colours. Now, in between clips, I have then put on the rest of my makeup, and now I'll show you me doing the lower lash line and the inner corner highlight and the brow bone. So, for the lower lash line, again, I just took the same shade that I put in the crease, which is cinnamon. Um, you can kind of see the pigmentation here when I'm doing it on the Makeup Obsession eye that it isn't as pigmented as Morphe. But, it really is easier to blend, and I think it still gives a really nice look. And then I'm just taking a little bit of bourbon brown and the corresponding like chocolatey brown shade and popping that on the outer lash line, outer half sorry of the lash line and I honestly don't think that you can see that much of a difference in these colours. For the inner corner highlight and for the brow bone I am taking this beautiful shade from the um, Morphe palette, it's like a really nice champagne colour. And the corresponding Makeup Obsession shade is called Champagne. And as you can see, the Morphe one isn't as pigmented as the Makeup Obsession one. Um, Aloha is slightly more pink and the other one is a little bit more yellow champagne. But again, you can't really notice the difference. Even if you're up close, I don't think you can notice the difference in the shades. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed that little eye tutorial and whatever your thoughts are on the eye look, whether you think it's similar or not similar, leave it down below so that I can read all your comments and read your feedback and your opinions. So overall, I do think that Makeup Obsession is actually a really, really good dupe of the Morphe 35 palette. Of course these are only a selection of shades that you can get. There are so so many other ones so if there's a particular colour that you want you can go into store and swatch it, have a little look at it and then of course if you would like to buy it you can do so. Pop it into a customizable palette or like I say just have the one single shade if you are a great lover of a particular shade in the Morphe 35 palette. So thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's given you some um, kind of inspiration for an eye look as well. I love this eye look and the way it's turned out, it's so nice and orange, right up my street. Um, definitely come and follow me on all my social medias, Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter are all Kirsten Beauty and they will be linked down below. And also enter my Makeup Revolution giveaway if you haven't done so already, it's open until the 15th of March, I'll leave it linked in the first line of the description box. So thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a lovely sunday so far and yeah have a good week next week and i will see you next week with another video i think i'm doing two videos next week again because you know why not so yeah i'll see you then oh also yeah please subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it so yeah bye